Thanks for tuning in, guys. Mark is back with another non-biased, user-friendly review. And we got our crazy summit tank with us again out today. Um, I wanted to have a quick discussion <clears throat> on the inners of the RC car. You know, we always talk about the, you know, the nice uh, tie rods and the beautiful paint and, you know, beautiful looking shocks. Uh, but we never really you know, talk about the interior of our inner RC cars, of what they're actually made of inside. Now, the Traxxas Summit, uh, you know, is notorious for having failed broken differentials. Uh, these diffs constantly uh, blow up. Uh, like I mentioned in the previous video, uh, the plastic inner diff housings, they warm up from the heat, uh, thus making them deformed and, uh, you know, screws start uh, popping out of the set screws and um, it's just bad news. So I wanted to introduce you guys to, uh, to this part from GPM. Um, there are several other manufacturers out there that make this hardened steel uh, spiral gear. Uh, GPM isn't the only one that jumped on board with this uh, and it probably won't be the last uh, because this is a must-have <clears throat> upgrade for the Traxxas Summit or the E-Vivo. Um, it's hardened steel and to give you a comparison this is the stock setup right here it's just the regular steel nothing wrong with the set I just wanted to show you guys for a comparison as to the hard steel and uh, the regular steel now within the bag it's kind of hard to tell any kind of difference uh, but the reason why I wanted to show you the actual packaging and not take it out uh, is uh, the GPM, they actually add a tiny little bit of oil uh, into there and into their actual shaft here as well, just to keep it nice and nice and lubricated and uh, and just looking good. Very nicely packaged again, uh, very nice part. Uh, so a very uh, very great upgrade to have. Uh, now this constantly fails uh, like I said you know when the inner diff starts warming up or the inner bearing breaks uh, something blows up uh, this comes off off level and it starts chewing it at at an angle and uh, you get blown diffs constantly constantly so a very nice upgrade to have uh, this hardened steel spiral gear now guys I want you to take a note of something and this is just an advice an honest advice if you are planning to run uh, this hardened steel setup within your RC uh, make sure you invest some money into some very good bearings because a spiral gear puts more stress onto the actual shafts, the actual bearings, right? So spiral gears put a lot of stress on bearings. So just giving you a heads up, you know, as soon as you're going to install these and if you're going to throw in some older, used or okay, somewhat re-greased bearings, they're going to fail on you very quick with this. And uh, you're probably going to end up busting up this as well. So while you're at it, just in a word of advice, get some high-end, you know, pay that extra money, get some high-end bearings and you won't have any issues. Again, the spiral gear, the spiral gear structure of these gears, naturally, if you've ever taken a physics class, which I've done in the university, uh, you know, naturally the force uh, of the bend of these little teeth, um, you know, transfers the force down sideways, thus putting up to 35% more pressure onto your bearings. All right. Now, at the same time, it's, you know, it is and it isn't a, a great upgrade. This is one of those upgrades that 
where you will have to definitely, you know, get the upgraded bearings as well. Make sure you do that uh, because this is going to be very rock solid. And if you have weak bearings in there, um, you know, it's just everything is connected. You got to make it. That's the beauty about RC, right? It's like a love hate relationship. Uh, if you put a nice part in there and you have crappy bearings, well, you know, what's the point? It doesn't, you know, make sure you have everything up to par. So having said that, so this is the, the stock, uh, you know, I gave you guys a little example of, of the hardened steel, uh, product code, product number for that is ER1337TS-OC. Again, very nice upgrade. Make sure do your bearings, make sure you do your bearings, all right? Now, finally, the diff housing, the diff housing for the eVivo. Now, this isn't a Traxxas Summit diff housing. Uh, what I'm actually going to be doing, I will be installing the eVivo diff housings into the Summit tank uh, because there is less moving parts within the eVivo uh, diffs because you don't have that unlocking and locking mechanism. Uh, that's constantly at play. So um, I think this is going to eliminate a lot of problems. And this is the rear, uh, the rear section. And uh, again, very nice packaging. Thank you, GPM. Um, you know, the parts are within a bag. The bag is within another bag. This is going to be my new saying for this channel. <laughs> Um, but wonderful, wonderful uh, packaging. And again, guys, remember how I mentioned the XO1 diffs, the outer diffs flexing as well, the stocks? This is another reason why I get the alloys, because they don't flex, right? And if they heat up, they dissipate that heat very nicely, and the metal doesn't really change, the structure doesn't change plastics it just expands and contracts and bad things start to happen so wonderful wonderful upgrade now remember this part right here will fit both the uh i'm sorry the e-revo and the traxxas summit these bulkheads are only for the e-revo and the product number for that is er012r same thing with this guy and uh, I'm going to be putting these in eventually once these diffs break again, blow on me again. Um, I'm going to be installing some GPMs and that will bulletproof everything. So, so you guys, let me know what you think. Uh, like or dislike, leave me a comment. Uh, what kind of diff setups do you have for your summit? Um, are they bulletproof? If they are, tell me what is your trick? Uh, Traxxas has yet to design a, you know, bulletproof outer inner diff casing design that really holds up to the temperatures uh, and to some of the guys, some of the guys' standards that bash just like crazy, you know, and uh, that's what it's all about. You guys let me know. All right. Thanks for tuning in again. Thanks for your support and you guys take it easy. Rock on. Take care.